Good morning, YouTube. What's up, everyone? Today, I'm gonna do a day in the life of a developer advocate. Today's really busy, and I'm actually kind of late for all hands, so let's go ahead and get going. Okay, so I just ended my last meeting. I pretty much had two meetings today. Now, my day usually doesn't start until 10 a.m. And right now it's about 10.30. But today on Tuesdays, I usually start 9 a.m. because we have an all hands meeting where we have an entire company come together in a meeting where we talk about whatever needs to be talked about. We talk with the co-founders. The co-founders are very transparent on everything. We talk about who are the new hires, offers that have been given out and et cetera. It's exciting. I'm in a hyper growth company. So we are growing very, very fast, very lucky. And then right after that, we have a community team meeting, which in that meeting, we have the head of the use team, co-founder, Jean LaFleur is in there, the DevRel team, and the other parts of the community team, which is the team who writes all of our technical content, blog posts, all of our blog posts, etc. We talk about what we worked on, what's coming up next, any questions, any blockers, etc. It's a very important meeting because for someone like me who's in DevRel, it, it really helps to know what everyone's working on. Maybe we can collab on things. And actually today, one of our content writers, they are writing something pretty amazing, and we're going to turn that into a video. But yeah, that's usually how my morning goes. I haven't eaten yet and I have a problem where I forget to eat yesterday. I didn't eat until 1 p.m. So let's go eat. Let's go to my kitchen and start cooking. Okay, so I'm still cooking right now. Let me show you what exactly I am cooking. So I'm making some Filipino chicken. Just, you know, look at all that oil. I know, Chris. I know, I know, I know. Chris, it's so unhealthy. What are you doing? First of all, I want to let y'all know that I barely eat fried fruit. Like, I really barely eat fried fruit. Everything I cook, my chicken, my vegetables, is usually <laughs> boiled or steamed. Well, let me show you my fridge, all right? So let me open my fridge right now. Look at this. I don't really have anything you can, I mean, I guess I can fry that. I got chicken. This is just vegetables. This is a Filipino dish called Tenola. You can't, it's just vegetable soup. Spinach. I got more chicken here and dog food. And look at all these veggies. This is all I really eat, okay? And it's all just like veggies in here. You probably can't tell because it's so bright. But really, like, I know I'm, you're seeing me cook fried food, but seriously, I really don't eat that much fried food. <laughs> Other than that, hold on. Let me talk about something I really want to talk about. But let me get my coffee real quick. <laughs> Boom. Hold on, hold on. I don't want to burn my food, okay? So let's go fix this real quick. I'm almost done, I need to cook some egg. My rice is not ready yet though. Don't open it, Ooh. Okay, so let's just flip this real quick. Oh no, I burned it, cause I'm vlogging. Oh my gosh, this is not good. I burned it, dude. Oh gosh, oh no, what did I do? Whoa, who's that? Who's that outside? Can y'all see that? Who's this dog that's outside right now? What's up, what's up, what's up, okie boy? You done, you wanna come inside? You wanna come inside? All right, let's go, inside. Good boy. My good boy, come here. You want to see the, the YouTube channel? You want to show yourself to the vlog? Remember when you were so small? Come here. Come here, good boy, sit. Come here. Sit, man, sit. Good boy. Such a good boy. You're such a good boy. You're such a good boy. Am I going crazy? I think I'm going crazy, handsome boy. Let's show him some tricks. Sit. Oh, good boy. Sit. Sit. Good boy. Give me a high five. Oh my gosh, you're such a good boy. Tofu girl, stand. Oh my gosh, you're such a good girl, Dolphin girl, good girl, you are so pretty and you jerk. Anyway, let's get back into this again. So, because of COVID, and if y'all didn't know, I wasn't able to really walk much for the last four months. Prior to April, I haven't been, I wasn't really able to walk for like four months and so, and I went to see foot doctors, I went to see multiple doctors, I went to the ER multiple times because it was so painful, and no one was able to figure out what was wrong. What is really interesting though was that I was able to figure out why I couldn't walk for four, to for three to four months on my own without a doctor because the doctors were completely, to be honest, useless. So then what was the problem, Chris? You might be asking me. The problem is that I was eating beef. Beef was the problem, eating seafood was a problem. I have something called psoriatic arthritis, it is not gout, but when I eat beef or anything that causes inflammation like beef or milk or seafood, my left foot would become so painful I wouldn't be able to walk and I literally bought this, hold on. All right. Here's evidence, okay? 
that I really couldn't walk. I bought this knee scooter. I bought this knee scooter because I couldn't walk. I was able to solve it on my own. I figured maybe it was meat. Tried to stop eating beef and I did. And guess what? Almost immediately the pain was gone. This was right before I left for the Philippines. And I'm great. Now, because I couldn't walk, I gained so much weight. During the pandemic, I gained about 20 pounds. And then I gained an additional 40 pounds because I couldn't walk. I couldn't go anywhere. I was so depressed and how painful it was. I overate way too much. I gained so much weight, but now that I could walk, I've already lost 25 pounds in two months. Let's go. Also, also, if I may add, one of the best things about working remote is the fact that, yes, I didn't eat breakfast yet. Yes, it's almost lunch, but while cooking, I can still work. I can still work while cooking my food for lunch. Let's go, let's go. Oh, my egg's ready. I'll see y'all later. Now, I have to share. It's pretty amazing, everyone, to be able to have my own place like this. Remembering where I came from, how a little over, I mean, just about six years ago, I was living in my car. And I have all of this. This is insane. This is absolutely insane, right? I never thought I would I would make it this far, right? I never thought I'd make it this far. And I'm here, and I'm going to go even further. And I can't wait to go further. So I thought I'd share that with you. And of course, this girl's very happy. Tofu girl, this is my toy. This is my toy. She's so cute. Oh, 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 shoot. Go. So there's another thing that I want to show with you as well as a gamer. I don't have my chair here because I only have one chair. Here is my gaming setup. It's very simple. This is just simple. This is not for work. This is my gaming computer. So this is just my gaming computer. Let me turn it on. This is, I have the GeForce RTX 3090 in here. All decked out, maxed out computer. I did not build it. It was pre-built, which is totally fine for me. And then of course I have my Alienware 27 inch, 240 Hertz refresh rate, 1080p. I did have the 1440p, um, 240 Hertz monitor, but I did break that because I was raging when playing Apex rank. But that's it. That's just my gaming setup. And of course, the infamous microphone right here. Now there is something else I really want to show you. So other favorite part of the house is my gym, which I'm so proud of. Now this makes it look ugly. I just put it in here because I have no space for it. I'm gonna give it to my parents soon. But as you can tell, I got my workout bench right here. Got my Bowflex weights. Now this is broken. I need to fix this. This is broken because it's not coming out. It's like, it's stuck. It's stuck. And then I got my TV so I can watch the NBA playoffs while working out, watch Korean dramas or whatever while working out. And of course, my Peloton bike, which I love. It is amazing. It is a good workout and in a gym to check myself out as I am working out. All right, so the other room I wanna show you. Hold on, let me just get my work laptop. Oh, I hurt my shoulder. Oh, I'm getting old, I'm 35. I'm turning 35, I'm not 35 yet. But where I am at most of the day, which is away from my gaming computer, away from my media center and everything is my office. Now, I purposely do not have the best desk in this office to make me feel uncomfortable for a little bit because I don't want to turn this into a gaming room. This is my office right now. As you can tell, a little simple background for when I'm doing technical videos, etc. So here's my simple background. It's nice to have a nice background on the camera. This is my computer setup. I don't mind the mess. My light, my Lumina webcam that I use for Zoom calls right here. And of course, my setup. It's not plugged in right now, but this is usually where I'm at the entire day. Nothing fancy in here. It's just for getting work done. Although I am considering getting an L-shaped standing desk real soon, but I just want to turn this room into a place where I have to work hard, get stuff done, get going. Anyway, I have a meeting real quick. So let me do that meeting and I'll see y'all in a second. All right. I want to introduce y'all to someone. He is someone you might know, someone you might not know. If not, you'll know him now. Here we go. Let's surprise him. I gotta stop doing this. <laughs> Are you filming right now? Hold on, I can't hear you, I can't hear you. Hold on, hold on. Hello? There you go. Yes, yes, yes. Yo, are you filming too? You can't be copying me. Look at this guy. He thinks he Who can just this? time lapse Bro, me. I thought I would get you off guard and you said up filming me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually not time lasting this is a video. So this is my uh, junior develop junior uh, Junior uh, uh, my uh, uh, This is wait, what's your name? Uh Okay. Oh Justin, okay. yeah, yeah. So everyone welcome Justin, my colleague. They know who I am. <laughs> yeah, they do. Alright everyone, so I just ended my meeting with Justin. Pretty much what we were talking about is discussing and preparing for our community call that is going live on Airbyte within the next hour and a half, preparing questions, making sure all the technical stuff is ready to go, uh, making sure we know the company that's going to present on our live stream well, and just making sure everything's just ready, right? Uh, that's what we do, that's our job as developer advocates. So just ended that meeting, I'm gonna go ahead and work on some other things before we go live, and I'll see y'all in a bit.
All right, everyone. So I just ended my community call with Noel from Data Coves and Chow Coach Justin, my homie, my fellow colleague. That was pretty fun. That was that was actually my first community call that I've done for the company. I look forward to doing more. And now I'm actually on to preparing for my YouTube video interview with the head of engineering here at Airbyte. I just want to be able to get to know him personally, get to know how he got into tech, and just be able to discover what exactly how it was for him to be here at the very beginning of Airbyte to now being the head of engineering of a team of 80 people that will quickly grow to 200 by the end of the year. So we'll move on to that interview. Let's go. So I just ended my meeting with the head of engineering, wearing in a different Airbyte shirt because I'm doing a video about Airbyte and the people who work there. So I just ended that meeting. Other than that, dudes, it's the end of the day. It is about six o'clock right now. I'm exhausted from filming all day while trying to work and get all this other stuff done. So thank you all for watching and I'll see y'all in the next video. Wait, okay. I gotta lie, this is a totally different day. This is a totally different day. This is not the same day that I recorded the entire video, okay? I got tired, I got lazy, the Warriors game came up. I didn't finish the video, all right, okay. I wanna show y'all something, I wanna show you something. I'll just show you. Okay, so different day, this is a couple days later, actually one week later, I'm not gonna lie, this is one week later. I showed y'all my gym the other day, and that gym was very incomplete, it doesn't feel full, and I'm still gonna order more things for my gym, but I want to show y'all my gym right now. All right, here's the gym, dudes. Now, before you just saw the bench, right? And my Peloton bike and these weights. But now, check this out. I got a full, let me just actually consider the half squat rack. I got a squat rack right here. Look at this, I got these nice weights. My Peloton bike here, as usual, and my weights, which are broken. But yo, this feels complete. To working out with this feels complete. I also kind of went all out, so I also bought, these plates that I have here are nice, but the metal plates are really way too loud. So I bought Rogue Fitness rubber plates. I also bought a Rogue Fitness plate tree to put my plates on there and cut a couple of other accessories. But anyway, this is my house. This is the life of a developer Africa. This is the life of Krishan. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace out. <laughs>